Hi guys, so I'm working on a shirt for my daughter and it was too small so I ended up finding this black fabric and I decided to just, you know, add it in to make it a little bit more roomy for her just in case you have any problems like this with your sewing and you cut something and it's too small, you can always find something to go with it and it actually made the areas pop because now I can see the pockets and I can see under the armpits and she can stretch her arms up and it's you'll see at the end because I left it in um, so now I'm just working on the pockets I already cut an assembly shirt as I said before and it was too small so I ended up using this black fabric um, to to um, oh my gosh yeah to extend it and make it wider so I cut one of the pockets already and remember with this fabric you have to make sure that all the words are going in the right direction or else you know you're gonna have upside down I mean it's Halloween it's okay but at the same time if you can avoid it avoid it okay make sure all your words are going in the same direction so that you don't have any problems like that make sure that you cut it and then after cutting a piece of fabric to line the tops i'm just serging it off on my serger to make the you know nice and sweet um for the seams just serging it off Okay, so now I'm flat stitching the tops of the pocket so that the edges will not be skinning up and it's just nice and cute. You want to um, stitch those edges down to make it nice and flat and now you can see how beautiful that black is on the top. I thought it was a good idea. So, yeah. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing for the top and it was way out of frame so I just decided to just leave that alone and um, show you how I pinned the pocket in place. Um, for anybody else, I would tell y'all to go ahead and measure from the armpit to the tail of the on both sides. You know, just to measure your things and make sure that they're in the right position. But I honestly just didn't feel like doing any much work. I just pinned them in place um, at the end of the shirts and just stitched it. If they were level, they were level. Um, don't follow me. If you, especially if you're doing this for somebody who is giving you coins, you don't want to do anything as disrespectful as that. But sometimes you can eyeball it and you get them in the right position. I'm not sure that this is in the right position. I honestly was too tired to care okay but yeah I'm pinning them in the position where you would have the pockets and then I'm going to stitch along the seams to make everything nice and closed off right there because I'm going to be stitching the corners and the bottom into the shirt so it's just gonna be this one stitch right down where I pinned it and obviously I pinned it upside down I should have pinned it all the way but sometimes you just have to just work with what you got okay all right so here I go sewing it in place and I'm going to do that to both pockets and I'm giving it a couple of stitches for forward and backward just to you know seal this because this is something you're gonna put constantly be putting your hand in and out of so you want to make sure that you seal that and I'm coming from the bottom of the outer pocket um, because this was already pinned in place so it's not gonna move and um, yep okay after doing all that and putting the pocket together you want to go ahead and reassemble the shirt um, by stitching the sides to the black fabric and um, put it back together and finish off all the raw edges and boom 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 you're all done okay Yep, make sure you seal the neck and everything. I also put it around the neck. So, yep, it's perfect. And there it goes, guys. Hope you enjoyed my little video. Yeah, she didn't want to put her face on camera. And then she ended up dancing and stuff. I don't know why she want to do that for. Yeah, but it looked good. And she just threw it on. Yes, yes, baby. Yes, there she go. Okay, bye-bye.
Don't forget to be fly.